we're going to conclude this panel today by hearing reflections from Micah and Destiny. The first is, why does truth and reconciliation matter? Truth and reconciliation are important because even the best intentions can cause harm if they're not carried out with proper care and with compassion. Most researchers and clinicians have their heart in the right place. They're in this field because they want to help people. And many are impacted by disability personally, whether in their families or in their own lives. Um, but these good intentions can often come from a decidedly abled perspective that totally ignores and pathologizes that of disabled people themselves. Um, and at that point, helping can often become harm because boundaries be, become overstepped and people begin to feel as though their voices and their experiences no longer matter. Um, and if someone says that you've hurt me, even as a professional, as an academic, you don't get to say, no, no, I didn't. And so it's vital for research to become inclusive and accessible, that we're able to acknowledge the harm that has been caused and hold it in a place of understanding and acceptance. We have to move forward. That was then. And its feelings, its impact is still being felt today. And that can't be overlooked or left to history. This is important because researchers make mistakes. Researchers need to apologize for their mistakes and learn from their mistakes. They need to learn how to work with people with disabilities, for an example, because there is not enough research out there. Doctors over-medicate people with disabilities, and this can affect the support and resources that are available for people with disabilities. 